Every student deserves recognition, whether it's for mastering the skill or just showing up with enthusiasm. Badges are a perfect way to keep your students motivated and engaged. In today's session, I'm going to demonstrate how to award badges in Canvas. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am in my Canvas course shell. The first thing you will do is look for the badges tab in your navigation options. If you don't find this here, not to panic, scroll all the way down until you find the settings all the way in the bottom here. Click on settings, click on your navigation and scroll down to see if you can find badges. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Right here is my badges. And once I see it, I'm going to click on these three ellipses make sure I enable it. While I enabled it, why not just pull it all the way up here and then I am going to click save. Do not forget to click save. And once you click save, here is your badges tab. Click on it and it's going to ask you to verify your Canvas badge account. If you don't have a Canvas badge account or Badger account, click on badger.com, go ahead, create an account, and make sure you use your Canvas email address to create one, or if you already have a Badger account, make sure you click on it and add another account if you want to sync both of them. I just keep them completely different, that's my call. But if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. So here I am an issuer. And as you can see, I have 21 badges. Uh, I have awarded it to 522 students. I have three groups, so on and so forth. So once you have this, use the same email account. Let's go ahead and do that right here. It's going to ask me to enter my email address. I will enter my email address and let's see what happens next. Once I enter my email address, it sends me a verification code to my email and I'm going to go ahead and enter that verification code and verify my Canvas account and be right back. And once you verify your code, it will show you exactly how many issuers are in your account, how many badges are in your account. And all you have to do is go ahead and select the issuer and go ahead and get your badging started. So the class I previously demoed did not have any students, but in this class I do have students. I did add my badges. So I want to go ahead and talk about more options. So as soon as you set up your account, here you have this little group progress and right next to it, you have an arrow. Here you can see your leaderboard. You can actually see which students have received badges, how many students have received their badges. You can also look at the progress as whole. I do have module one, two, three, four badges. These badges don't mean anything. They don't have any metadata. You complete the course, oh, sorry, you complete the module, you fail or pass, you complete, you get a badge. So this is not really, this is just for me to encourage my students so that they can have that gaming or gamification feel in the classes. So as you can see, all of these are my badges. Let's go ahead and add a badge or set up a badge. To do that, you'll click on this little arrow icon. Click on setup. Here you will go ahead and add a badge. Let's click on add a badge. You have an option to select from the badges that are already in your account. But today let's go ahead and add a badge completely from scratch. So I'm going to click on these three ellipses. I'm going to create a new badge. I'm going to click create new badge and I do have all the information for my badge here. I'm going to name my badge as mastery in integral calculus and applications. And I'm going to enter the summary of the badge. So this badge is for my students who ace the test. And I do want them to showcase these badges in professional websites. So if you want your students to do that, I highly recommend adding metadata to it. So instead of just a PNG image, this badge tells the viewers what exactly your students did in or received this badge for, like giving them a criteria of criteria of receiving the badge. So as you can see, this is mastery in calculus. The summary is the badge represents the recipient mastery of integral calculus concepts, the applications, so on and so forth. And to earn this badge, they have to earn an A in demonstrating this advanced understanding of antiderivatives and indefinite integrals. 
Now the final part is to pick an image. So let me just simply drag the badge that I created. I do have badges. I create badges using Canva and we can do another session on that. So I'm simply going to drag and drop. As you can see, this is mastery for integral calculus and applications. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then once you add a badge from scratch, the next step is how do you assign it to your class? Either you can do a canvas integration. So when you do a canvas integration here, it's going to ask you to select which module. Keep in mind, you can only assign badges to modules. So I have module one, module two, module three, but I have multiple items, assignments, tests inside that module. So I do want that freedom to manually assign my badges. But if you want to create a module and just assign it, you can do that as well. But for now, I'm going to click manually. I'm going to assign my badge manually but the same process again go ahead type in the name of the badge the more information you give it's better so students also understand the value of the badge instead of just feeling that it's another png file so whatever i use to add and create my badge i'm doing the same thing here i'm going to click add badge and now I do have excellence in calculus foundation. I have mastery in advanced calculus. I do also have great comeback. Sometimes students do very poorly in test one and they do phenomenally well in test two. I do give them great comeback badge as well. When I click, you can see um, not many students earned this. Only seven of them had a great comeback, but you can tell that students have earned this and you have that freedom to assign the badges to whoever you want. So once I'm here, let's go back to my badge progress. In here, if I want to assign excellence in calculus, I'm going to click on this. And I am going to type in the name of the student that I want to assign the badge. And let's just say it's my first student here. I'm going to click on the student's name. And all I have to do is click award badge. So let me go ahead and award badges to certain students and then come back so you can see exactly what's happening. So here is the last student that I'm going to be awarding a badge. I'm going to search for the student's name. This student has earned A in the test. So I'm just going to type in the student's name and search for the student. Once I find the student, I'm going to click on the student's name. And all I'm going to do is award badge. And not earned turns to earned. I do get a confirmation. And once that's done, if I look, this is the entire information that the student receives. And as you can see, I do have a description. I do have um, earning criteria and I do have awarded for completion of whatever course and excellence in calculus foundation. Now, if I look at a public view, let me see if this one even opens up. This is how the badge is going to look. And this is very professional. It tells exactly what the badge is for, the earning criteria, and it also tells who this badge has been offered by. And I think this is a great way to encourage students, especially in higher classes. It could be for your high school or higher ed. It's just a way to tell, good way to tell them that, you know, your hard work has been appreciated. Now, giving too many badges is also not recommended. I have learned that from my bad experience. I recommend giving very limited number of badges and giving a whole criteria of why that badge has been earned. So students can showcase just because right now everything is all about social media, you know, putting it up there in the workforce and just people knowing what you have done. And based on that, you look for a better job or students are already in that workforce kind of atmosphere showcasing their small milestones. I hope you enjoyed this quick session on badging. If you do, please make sure you like, subscribe and share this. And like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.